So fine, Sahel. Wow. Ich nehme das ein bisschen näher. Wer versteht nicht kein Jiddisch? You all understand one language or the other, right? Okay. But have no fear, the talk is going to be in English today. Oh, I know. <laughs> One day you'll do it in Yiddish, right? <laughs> um, so welcome, a guten Nachmittag zu euch alle men. Ich heiße Miri Koral. Ich bin die Vorsitzerin von dem California Institut für Yiddische Kultur und Sprach. What did I say, somebody? I have so many former students in here. Really, you should all be able to do this very well. Um, and it's really great to, to see that, by the way. It's wonderful. So I want to thank you all for coming this afternoon in the new year, 2016. Uh, we are continuing with our gallop through Yiddish culture. We are finding all kinds of new ways to show you uh, the manner in which Yiddish culture has influenced modern American uh, culture, mainstream, what we consider mainstream culture. And today's program is just one of those many ways. Some of you uh, came to the one about rock and roll. Did any of you come to that? Yes? which is a wonderful talk. Uh, I wish we had recorded it, but maybe we'll get an encore. How many of you didn't come to that? <laughs> Would you like to come to it? Maybe we'll get him back because it was really, those of you who were there, did you enjoy it? I, I mean, I heard such great feedback from it. It was really fantastic. So um, good, we'll, we'll, we'll bring him back. And um, we had a wonderful film, the comedian Mike Burstein presented that. Uh, uh, again, the influence of Yiddish theater, of Yiddish humor on, on mainstream American uh, culture. So I, I, one of the things that has happened in these last weeks, you know, it was the end of the year, we got wonderful memberships, we got wonderful uh, uh, donations. So I want to thank you all, everyone who has become a member of Cycle. I think we have something like 80 members now, which is amazing. Uh, and as you know, if you come to all our, our events, it basically pays for itself in, in the year. So uh, don't hesitate to do that if you have a chance to become a member. It makes us stronger, it makes us feel like you all care <laughs> about what we are doing. Because, you know, it is, for some people, it's a completely lost cause. But not for us, right? right. Absolutely not. It's something that needs to endure. It needs to endure for future generations. We have to hold that torch for the future. Even if, even if we don't grow it at the moment down the road, who knows what purpose it will have and how important it will be for people to know the language and to understand the essence of the culture and the language. So that's why we are doing what we're doing. So I want to thank our, our, our members. I want to thank our supporters. Uh, I want to definitely thank the Santa Monica Synagogue for allowing us again to be in this beautiful space today. Rabbi Jeff Marks gave us a talk about cream cheese, <laughs> the great American cream cheese uh, myth. It's online. It is now something that you can visit uh, online. You can hear his talk if you're interested. Many of our previous programs are now online on our website. Uh, please make use of this resource of our website. It has so much going for it. It has um, a tribute page to Lilke Meisner, to Moshe Schlar, who are really, those of you who are here who know how important they were to the Yiddish speaking community in Los Angeles. And uh, there are video links to some events related to, uh, to both of those <coughs> wonderful individuals. We will um, soon have a video link to, to Theo, we have links to um, the um, uh, uh, Living Yiddish Treasures uh, gold, last Golden Links video series that we that we did. We'll have more of that soon. 
so please visit it. But one of the things we have is a Yiddish horoscope, which you see in front of you. So let's see. If somebody volunteer their their birth sign. Somebody July. July. Okay. So what what sign is that? July. Cancer. So let's go down to How about Leo? there. Cancer. Okay. No, so could somebody read it? Who's close by? Arva, could you read it? This month will be a month of Vashlisen Fabrika. You may have put off different and disagreements. Put off differences and disagreements. You have come to a Vashlos and agreements. Advice. Take a step back and see the bigger picture. Okay, so we have the we have picture. it's an opportunity <laughs> to learn some words. Okay, so the words here are bashlis, uh, uh, bashlisen, bashlus. Yeah, bashlus is uh, agreement. Bashlisen is to agree to the verb. So an opportunity, and you have a proverb out of it as well. And the proverb is. Um, von Eilenisch kommt kein Guts nicht daraus. Yeah? So uh, acting out of pressure doesn't lead to good results, as we all know. And, uh, and then you have a link to, did you know that you share the same sign with Itza Katz Nelson? <laughs> a very, a very amazing poet worth knowing about. This is an opportunity to learn something about Yiddish literature, uh, Yiddish culture on a deeper level. So there's a link to it's a Katz Nelson, who perished in the Holocaust, but left us some extraordinary works of poetry. Re truly, truly extraordinary. So this is the kind of thing. One more. Let's do just one more. Yes? Merz. Merz. OK, Merz is Gemini, right? Nein. No. Merz is, which one is, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know them all. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. Okay, so it's uh, Del Baran. Yeah, is the word for for uh, the ram. Okay, so this month will test Del Baran. When life seems to be at a standstill, you will be like a vogler in the desert, not knowing which way is right. Advice. There's always advice. Reassess your tzilin. Determine if you are on track or not. Whether you are on track or not, trust in yourself. <laughs> and see your way through to your goals. Okay? So, words, <laughs> Del Vogler, Vogler, Wanderer, and Zielen Goals. Yeah, Zielen Goals. It's just a chance to learn something. And then you have an expression, Asmin spart sich ein, fiert man euch. If you're determined, you will succeed. And a notable Yiddish figure, Chaim Grade, not bad, right? To share with Chaim Grade. Some of you probably all know who he is. Yes, Chaim Grade. Some are more well known in popular culture than others. So it's just an opportunity to to explore and learn more. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go to the website yourself and, and look, because we don't want to delay too much today. Okay. Okay. When, when go, you should go. Chaim Grade was. It was a cultural club. Chaim Grade was even in LA in the cultural yeah. club. Yes. So in living memory. Quite a, quite yeah. Which is. I have to tell you about what's coming up this year. Uh, we have so many things. Um, next month, February, is a Jewish Cabaret Symposium and Live Cabaret. It'll be at the UCLA School of Music, February 25th. All of this is, is on our website. Mark will tell you more about that because it's th something that he is organizing. Some of it will be in Yiddish. Uh, we're skipping March because in April we have two loaded things. One is a concert on April 10th. It's called The City of the Future. And it features the music of Russian uh, Yiddish composer uh, Shmuel Polanski. And we're going to have amazing musicians, Yael Strom, Elizabeth Schwartz, Michael Alpert, a bunch of other musicians. It'll be at UCLL Hillel. And uh, that's going to be April 10th. April 17th through 20th, we have managed to bring David Katz. Any of you know who is David Katz? Yes. So we're bringing David Katz to UCLA. He's going to be giving a series of not one, not two, but three 
lectures, three, three, two of which are actually workshops, uh, seminars, just to give you an example of what that is. Um, not entirely in Yiddish, but definitely about Yiddish. He, uh, we may have time to do a workshop with him in intermediate Yiddish, it depends. But um, so his public lecture on April 17th is called Yiddish and Power. Not what you expect, right? The social, intellectual, and political empowering of the masses by one of the world's most exotic languages. How's that for a title grabber? And then he's going to do a seminar on the fate of Yiddish in the Soviet Empire and a workshop on methodologies for cultural reconstruction of minorities in Eastern Europe, the case of Yiddish. May, backed by popular demand, Professor Yoshiki Hirose of Japan uh, is going to talk about a little more. You got a little taste of, of two Japanese Schindlers. He's going to be talking some more based on his recent research on that other Japanese Schindler who's uh, Setsuzo um, Kotsuji. I'm sure I mangled that. But, uh, he's going to be talking about that. And then in June, <laughs> the crown yeah, of our, of our <laughs> program is going to be everything you ever wanted to know about Yiddish, but were afraid to ask your bube, or forgot to ask your bube. And we're bringing from New York Shane Baker. Some of you know who he is, Shane oh. Baker, who's an uh, amazing comedian uh, and the head of the Kultur Congress, the, the Congress for Jewish Culture, as well as a beautiful singer, Miriam Chaya Siegel, and they're going to be doing in a comic fashion, literally anything you wanted to know about Yiddish. And it's going to be thanks to the uh, LA City Library, thanks to Wendy Westgate here. Would you stand up for a minute? Yes. <laughs> Who's helping to arrange this. And we're going to be doing it at the beautiful um, Mark Taper Auditorium in the Downtown Central Library. Not the first time we've done Yiddish there. We've done, uh, uh, we did a whole thing on LA Yiddish authors in 1998 at that same stage. So we've already, we've already broken ground there, but yes. Yes. <laughs> so, okay, we have lots of things, right? All right, so. Yes. Also at the paper, on March 20th is a Klezmer Jews concert. Thank you. Uh, oh, really? The same thing down, downtown? Yes. Oh, fantastic. Yes, I am. And, and yes, and, and more, more Yiddish One news. More thing is January 24th, the Valley Bishalom, I'm doing a Yiddish sing along with the accordion. Maybe Gustavo is going to come play a clarinet. So I have some flyers at. Sunday, January 24th, it's at 3 o'clock. Okay, and then there's Yiddish also singer. something at Skirball, uh, the Yiddish art trio uh, this month. So lots, lots, isn't it amazing? You can have a very Yiddish day going to both of them. I know, and then, okay, same day. Okay, very helpful. It's in the Jewish Journal. It's in the Jewish Journal, yes. Thank you. Okay, so I, it is my great pleasure to introduce Professor Mark Kligman. Some of you already know, have you heard him before here in this very yes. same location not that long ago? He's the inaugural holder of the Mickey Katz Endowed Chair in Jewish Music, and he's a professor of, eth of uh, ethnomusicology and musicology at UCLA in the Herb Alpert School of Music. From 1994 to 2014, he was on the faculty of Hebrew Union College uh, at the Jewish Institute of Religion. And his, he specializes in, in many arenas, but one of the specialties is liturgical traditions of Middle Eastern Jewish communities and various areas of popular Jewish music. So, with this main area of focus, uh, the liturgical music of Syrian Jews in Brooklyn, uh, he showed the interconnection between the music of Syrian Jews and their cultural way of life. His 2009 book, uh, Makam and Liturgy, did I pronounce that right? Makam and Liturgy, Ritual Music and Aesthetics of Syrian Jews in Brooklyn, was awarded a 2009 Jordan Schnitzer Book Award Notable Selection, which is an award of the Association for Jewish Studies. 
His other publications focus on the intersection of contemporary Jewish life and various liturgical and paraliturgical musical contexts. You'll have to explain what paraliturgical is. Professor Kligman is also the academic chair of the Jewish Music Forum, a board member of the Association for Jewish Studies, and co-editor of the journal Musica Judaica. He's a popular speaker in forums around the city, country, and even the world. And uh, he gave us this wonderfully informative lecture about Mickey Katz uh, last spring. So we're really lucky to have him here today, Professor Mark Kirkland.